There, there is a here's here's a uh, one anecdote towards that end. Um, there's one weed uh, perennial, a um, little bit difficult, kind of annoying. It's called curly dock. And we have it in the farm everywhere, and um, you know I used to um, you know spend some spend a lot of time trying to control it, go through the hoe and get it get it all out and that, and that sort of thing. Really long, deep tap roots mm -hmm. uh, and whatnot. And, uh, you know, b because the thinking is, well, this curly dock is getting in the way of the carrots that are growing, you know, uh, three feet away from it or whatever. And, um, you know, after spending some time uh, in the field with the curly dock and the bugs that are there and the carrots, I realized that the curly dock in my fields is the preferred... Uh, Post plant for uh, ladybugs. Ah. All the ladybugs love the curly dock, and that's where they lay their eggs. Okay. I don't see ladybug eggs at pretty much anywhere else. Okay. Additionally, these deep, long tap roots I know are pulling nutrients up from the lower part of the soil. In the end of the year, we, when the ladybugs are are done for the year, we'll often, you know, sort of mulch the leaves from. From these roots, um, but we leave curly dock. Um, I I don't want to say that I cultivate it, right? <laughs> but um, uh, but I found that it's a, a fundamentally, you know, this weed that I used to go after, yeah. right? I now realize is a fundamentally important yep. uh, piece of this whole puzzle. Yeah, it's a it's a thing that holds the farm together in a really meaningful way. It's a host plant for ladybugs, and why are ladybugs so important? Well, ladybugs um, are um, uh, uh, they're hard workers. Yeah. They love to eat other bugs, mm -hmm. um, specifically aphids, mm -hmm. uh, and and you know we we serve lots of salads in the restaurant. Um, and so one of the biggest pests that we have for leafy green, you know, type, uh, type plants, uh, lettuces is aphids. And, um, I have a choice. I can either spray chemicals or I can foster a truly massive ladybug population. <laughs> and, um, uh, and I can tell you which one is more, re more rewarding. Right. <laughs> um, and... Uh, you know, so many farms will import ladybugs right. to help, and that's an organic practice, import ladybugs and whatnot. The biodynamic practice is to figure out how and why the ladybugs are at your farm. Right. Now, how do we foster their population? And it turns out this, this you know, formerly bad this weed wit, right. <laughs> right? Now, now has a, an important role right. in, you know, in, the, in the farm. Um, and we have ladybugs all over yeah. the place. Yeah. Yeah. Which <laughs> that's is so awesome. Cool. It's great. Yes. I love yeah. that because that's a great example yeah. of working in tandem with nature and also pulling in that beneficial side of like, why is this here and how can that help? And that's right. Now you're, now you have more partners.